Hello, my freeze drying friends. Today on DIY Freeze Dry, I am going to show you how to make strawberries. <laughs> definitely doing a shortcut today and using frozen sliced strawberries that I bought in the frozen section at the grocery store. Definitely was cheaper to buy them frozen and not fresh. Right now in Alaska, it was like $8 for the small pint of strawberries and I'm just not willing to pay that. So I think doing the frozen berries and freeze drying them is going to turn out so good and be such a good snack. If you saw my first video, the thing my son Lincoln was most excited to freeze dry was strawberries. So he is going to be very excited for today's taste test. I have already started the machine. Um, when we turn it on, it takes a 15 minute cool down process. So while that is cooling, I am going to load the berries onto my trays. So annoyed and just had a rubber band bust on me so I'm gonna go fix that. Hair crisis resolved. I'm going to load the berries onto the trays. Sorry for the awkward angle. I got to figure out a better way to set up the camera. the ones that didn't look that great I mean these aren't the most beautiful strawberries I've ever seen but they'll be fine I pulled out the bad ones and any that were like stuck together because you do want them to be kind of spaced out so they're not like crowded on the pants we will now load them into the machine it's ready to go So again, we're starting this batch at night. Seems to just be easiest that way. Let it do all of its work while we are sleeping. And we will just check on the status of it in the morning, see how much time we have left or if it's already finished. I still don't know the average times for all the different foods. I am pretty sure the fruits take longer than the drier things like the candy. So we will see. We will see you in the morning. Okay, it is the next day. We are checking out. These have been drying for quite some time, 18 hours. Um, I'm gonna be testing them shortly. It's just finishing the extra dry cycle. I'm gonna test it, make sure they're nice and dry, and if so, we can start defrosting. Definitely seem ready. So I've got my jar, I've got my bag filled as full as I can do it. We've got a few extra. I'm going to try to stick in the jar because we'll just eat them anyway. All right, here's our strawberries. Thanks for following along this journey. We are going to go upstairs and do a taste test with the children, see how they like them. I know my son Lincoln and probably Wesley are going to like them. Bria, I know is going to hate them, but she promised she would try at least a tiny piece. So. We'll see how that goes. 
What time is it, kids? Taste free dried strawberries. Taste test time. One, two, three, go. Mm. Sour. <laughs> Yum. Sour. What happened to this kid? <laughs> Sour. Yeah. Is yours a little sour? Yeah. <laughs> but kind of good? You a thumbs up or thumbs down? Lincoln? Thumbs up or thumbs down? They're so good! How many thumbs up, Wesselton? Big. All that. Oh, good. I sampled one when I got him out of the freezer, but. No, that means I taste. That means I don't laugh up. Oh, yeah. So good. Thanks for following along on this strawberry journey with me. If you want to see what we're going to do next, hit that subscribe button and you will be the first to see our next freeze drying adventure. <laughs> See you later.